Minago ya be namakota je macha nakonia tehina. Amba wash day. Naka nemia Krisa oach. Amba ne amba haska ne amba e amni ish. It's February and it's Wednesday today. Good day, everyone. How are you? Nina Daya Akewana Wachimnaga. It's very good to see you all again. Today, we're going to go back to the beginning. We're going to start going through our alphabet just to make sure that we have the, um, I believe they're called NCLEX, and I want to make sure that I explain how the NCLEX work and how you, um, it helps to articulate the Nakoda alphabet. So let's get underway right away. Um, I believe lesson one we talked about um, how the noun is always at the beginning of the sentence and then you have your particles, your pre prepositions and your adjectives and your verb is always at the end. And today we're going to um, explain a little bit more about those verbs. We'll, we'll get to that later. Um, the rule of thumb, always the second syllable is um, accented. Um, B, pluralizing, ta. Those are the n-clicks that we'll get to. Um, okay, well, let's start with, I'm just gonna write down our word order. We'll, we'll start with that and then I'm gonna go on into the alphabet. Because as you know, our word order in Nakoda is always, our noun is always first. And I'll, I'll give you some nouns. Then we always have our particle, our, prep, prep, our particles. Other people call them, I call them demonstratives. There's different words for them. And then we have our prepositions and our adjectives. Um, and then your verb at the very end. And that's how the Nakoda sentence structure begins. We have um, several orthographies that are out there. We I and um, a lot of the resources that I use, we use the Fort Belknap orthography. And if you want to have a look here, you can see the different orthographies. We have the Fort Peck orthography, the FNU orth orthography that was used at one point in time, Fort Belknap standard orthography. Um, we had a lady out here, her name was um, Cumberland. That was her orthography that she used. And then there's the International Phonetic Alphabet where all the sounds that are made in the English language, you can find them on this. And if you want to go look at the International Phonetic Alphabet, you can, um, the way they write the letters are nothing like we write in English. So with that said, we're going to carry on. I am using the Fort Peck orthography. I find that the Fort Peck words and the uh, the resources that come from there are um, very, very similar to the ones that we use on Carry the Kettle. Fort I mean, Fort Belknap, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Okay, let's go ahead. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Um, in Nakoda, we have eight vowels unlike in English. We have the five vowels like in English, and then we also have three nasal vowels. Um, when we were saying the vowels, A, E, I, O, and U, your airstream comes directly from your lungs straight through. A, E, I, O, U. See? That airstream coming straight from my lungs directly out. Um, like it's like when you go, ah, that's how your, your, your vowels should, should come out. But, we have nasal vowels in Nakoda. And when we're using those nasal vowels, your airstream is split between your, no, your, nas your no nose 
and your um, mouth. I guess the best way to um, describe the sound, I guess, is like um, when you say man, you still you notice that ah, ah, like your tongue goes up and half the air is coming out your mouth and half the air is coming through your nose. Man, man. These nasal vowels, um, these, these, these sounds, they're not found in English and man is one of the, the sounds the nasal vowels make. But these words are equivalent and I'm just gonna share a couple of these words with you like mink is one of the nasal vowels, monk, mean, and loon. Those are the nasal vowels that um, most sound like the sounds that's made, that it's made. Um, the, the nasal vowels are indicated with an end click and when we'll get to those I'll show you. But let's start with our Nakoda. Let's start with our first, um, our first vowel in Nakoda. Our first letter of the alphabet and that is your A. Just an A. And that makes the sound equivalent to the word at in English. At, at, or hat, at, at, at. Now, um, an equivalent for that would be a day, a day, father, a day, a k, a k. Okay, meaning again or to be repeated. Asambi, another one. Asambi, you hear that A sound? Asambi, which is milk in Nakoda. How's that? You're getting that? Ah, at, at, hat, a day, okay, asambi. Okay, we'll carry on to our nasalized A. Our nasalized A has the, the sound as in Long, long, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hear that? Ah, uh. and that is an amba, amba, ong, amba. Cha, cha, amba. This is day. Cha, cha. That is wood. And I'll do one more for you. How about? Champa, 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 and red is black um, Saskatoons or blueberries. Champa, you see that long champa. Now a e. Let's carry on to our e. Our Nakoda e is equivalent to the sound in English as in bet. Bet, eh, 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 bet, bet, and we can find this in words like nen, now, here, uh, jaya, 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 to say, jaya, you notice I don't have a uh, a cap or uh, anything on that, so that's going to make the Z sound. We'll get to those as well. J, 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 J. See the E? Bet, nen, J, ya, J. Now we're going to carry on to our nasalized E. Oops, sorry, wrong way. Sorry, we don't have no nasalized E. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing? You see my face when I realized what I did when I got back here? What the hell are we doing? <laughs> when, when the ugly dude has done you? Oh my god, okay. <laughs> a, E, now let's carry on to our I. I. I in Nakoda is equal to. Our sound in Nakoda is equal to, it's equivalent to the English word beat. Eat, eat, be eat, eat. And 
I guess one of the words that I would use would be Nina. Nina. Very. Nina. See? Eat. Nina. Another one would be we. We. That's just easy, and that's either their sun or your moon. We. Be eat. We. Another one. How about Z? Z. And that is to be brown. I think you get it, huh? Eat, Nina, we, Z. Now we're going to carry on to our nasalized I. Oops, this way here. I. And this I, with your end click at the bottom of it, is equal to the sound as in. Oh. E. It's like a mean, mean, e, mean. You see, it's really e. That e is really mean, and that can be found in sounds like ish, ish, and that means also ish. Another word that would be. Ia, ia, to go. Ia. And I'll give you one more example. Um, how about Mish, Mish, me too, Mish. And that's me too. See, you see that? Ia. Ish. Mish, mish. See? Do you get it? Okay, let's carry on to A E I O. O now. The O in Nakoda is equivalent to the English open. Open. O. Open. Our Nakoda words for O would be omna. Omna. Omna to smell, omna. Or ochangu, which is road, a road, ochangu. And one more for um, for the o. How about toe, toe, which is to be blue, toe. See, if you open o. Om na, o changu, to. You don't need English for those. Okay, then we're going to go on to our last two vowels. Our next vowel is our letter U. Now this U is um, equivalent. It'll make this U will make the equivalent the sound to the English as in two. U. To oo, oo, or um, shoe, shoe, oo, oo, you hear that? Oo, to, shoe. Um, the words for that would be, how about suda, suda, to be hard, <laughs> right? Suda. It is hard, sorry. To be hard or it is hard. You da. You da. And that's to eat. See? To shu. Su da. You da. I'll give you one more. How about. Mm, Wayne should have been here. There's where. Um... Oh, let's do this one. Here's one here. Hoo hoo, which is a bone. Hoo hoo. See? Hoo hoo. That's a good one. Hoo hoo. And it's bone. There's three examples there. We're going to carry on to our nasalized U. Now, this with the end click underneath, that U will make you the sound, it will sound like 
um, loon, oon, or noon, oon, loon. See, see hear that? Ooh, you hear that? Ooh, it's almost like ooh, and it's if you can um, if you can see me. I guess you can't see the air coming out of my nose or mouth. Sorry, but like it's like. Like it's your, almost like nasalized. Yeah, yeah. It's, it is nasalized. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oon, if you say oon, this is the sound that your, this U is going to make. All this here, oon, that nasalized U always has that N sound at the end of it. All the nasalized vowels do. But how about, um, hongu, hongu, see? Hungu. That has two of them, right? See, this has two U's. We've got two U's in this one. I was trying to get uh, words that had two of these letters. Hungu. Hungu. See, that's got two of them. And you can see that you can hear the difference in the U's as I say it. This has got the end click. Hungu. See? My U and my un and my U. Hungu. Yeah, I'll give you another one. How about ooh, to wear something? Ooh. Ooh. That's just your ooh like that. Ooh. Ooh. To wear, and that's to wear something. And those are our vowels. There's our five regular vowels and three of our nasal vowels. We're going to carry on to our um, regular alphabet now. Some examples and, hmm, you want it? Okay. Um, I'm going to give you, I've got three examples for every, every um, word that I have. But with these three examples, I'm also going to um, hopefully put them into a sentence for you. Hopefully I don't get tongue tied. Let's start out with our B. Let's move on with our B's. B. B is anything, is going to make the same sound as in bat, b, at, b, or tab, b, b. And we're going our, here's a good one. B, basic sound, barre, barre. To gather or uh, ambanen chuiknad uh, chuiknaga choza bareg ma 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 bareg binked. There we go. Sorry, I'm gonna gather nice warm coats today. Is what I told you. Amba, amba, amba. See, we have a nasalized a. Your b, your b. And then another A. Am bah, am bah. And that is just your day. Am nina osni. This day is very cold. And um, here is another B here. Let's do this one here. Booza, booza, b, uza. And that is your cat, a cat. Together, and a cat. Oh, booza yam nim no ha. I have three cats. I'm actually lying. Buza shaknoha noha. I think I have like eight cats, really. Chi chi. <laughs> Sorry. C C. Now this C is like the word chili. This C, when you see it in Nakoda, it's gonna have this ch sound. Ch ch chili, like as in chili. This is the sound that you will always say when you see this chi. C. Sorry. And a good example is chaba, chaba. See this? It'll be spelt like this, and it is a beaver. If you notice, it doesn't. I'm not saying kaba. I'm saying chaba, because in English and Nakoda, all your C's will sound like this: ch, ch, chaba, chaze, chaje. Your name, chaje. No, no, sorry, that's not the right one. Oh yeah, it is. Sorry. 
And another one, your name, Chande, Chande, your heart, Chande. Amba dobashten Chande skuya wajim no haigt. In four days' time, I'm going to have a sweetheart, I told you, because it's February 14th, huh? Chaba wajim no da. I ate a beaver. Oh, I guess I should have said I ate a beaver tail because you don't eat the beaver, right? You eat the tail. Chaje mitawa trisa. Okay, now we're going to carry on to this C, and it's got this hook beside it. Now, this C is not found in English. This is how the Fort Belknap orthography will have this C. And it's in words like chich u, chich u. And that's to give you back, to give you back, chich u. Or a chichi pa. A chichi pa, a chichi pa, and that is to meet or to to meet or to run into. Chich u, a chichi pa, and I'm forgetting a chichi pa. I'm right here, sorry. A chichi pa, and that is to run into or to meet. Ch, chich u, a chich. Ichi pa, chaba, chaje. You see the difference in them? Chich, chich, u, chande. Chich, u, chande. We'll go on to our D. And our D in English is equivalent to the sound of d amp. Damp. Standard D, d amp. D amp. This D can be found in words as in dagu. Dagu, dagu, dok den, dok den. And one more, um, doki. Dagu, dagu ya ching, what do you want? Dok den. Oh, doken, sorry, I got doken, not dok den. Let's take this out. Doken, and it means how. Doken ya u. Dokenyashka, how are you doing? How are you coming along? And doki, where? Baska dokiha, where's my money? Just kidding. <laughs> uh, we're going to carry on to our G. And this G is equivalent to the word in English as gum. G. Standard, standard G. 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 Gua, to come. Gua. To come, goa uh, nechi u, come here. Noga, noga, hear it. No ga, noga, noga waji kte. I killed a male buffalo. And this one here, another one. Maga, maga, maga. See, you hear the G's. Ga, it just makes a G sound. Maga. Maga je sewi. That skunk is stink. Maga. And. Oh, I'm going to do one more. And this one, I've got two of the G's. The next G is coming up here, but this is ga ra. You notice the, the end click on top is giving this G that glutter, that glutterized, glut, uh, glut. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> sound, see? G, as in gum, gua. Sound. Yeah, and g, gaha, and that is to make something. It's got two Gs in that. That brings us to our G with the cap on top of it, and that Again, gaha is a good one. That we do not have a sound in English that um, that sounds like that. But I always I'll say gha I would say is the closest that I would um, use. Gha. 
and that sound is in sound uh, ri to be yellow. See, ri. You, I'm kind of really being. You don't have to um, be so harsh with it, I guess. Ri. It's more a softer. Yeah, but I'm really, really um, forcing it out there for you to uh, hear that sound. Ri. It's spoken a little bit softer. Ri. And then I did, um, oh, here's another one. How about this one here? Ho ra. Ho ra. And that is a fish. Ho ra nom nam no dakt. I'm going to eat two fish. Ri. Um, and I did your ga ra. I won't do it down here because I did it up here, but that's a good, great example of two Gs. We're going to move on to our H. Now, H as in hope, the English H is, it'll sound as in hope or happy. H hope, happy. Um, a good one would be hia, 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 no. Hia, hoch nach hia bi English. Hia. Iuhana. 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 All. All of them. Ha. Iuhana. See that? Hana. Hia. Iuhana. Iuhana. Nechi u. Wodawo. All of you come eat. And, um,. Oh, here's another one. How about Ishtahi? Did I spell it right? Ishta. Ishtahi. And that's your eyelashes. Ishtahi haskam no ha. I have long eyelashes. Ishtahi, your eyelashes. See? Chris? Ishtahi. See? Ha. Happy. Happy. He. Now, our next one here, we have this H, and this H has an end click on top of it. Now, this H, they say there is no sound in English like it, so the nearest equivalent, I would say, is <sighs> or I would go <sighs> Okay, more like, because I'll show you why. Let's say gray. Hoda. Hoda. Do you see that? It's not as, I'm really oh, I'm over exaggerating it again because I want you to understand, but it's like Hoda. You hear? Hoda. That's the sound it makes. Hoda. That is, yeah, I was, that's my, or Hochnach Yabi. Hochnach yeah, B. That's that H sound. That I won't. Uh, Hawi, Hawi, Hawi. There we go. Hawi, and that is to be sour. Hawi. You hear that? Hawi. Uh, Icha, 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 and that is to laugh. You hear that? Icha, Icha. Oh, Nina. You have to be careful with that too. I think make make sure that you're getting that right because Hawi not also mean moon, but without the yeah Hawi. This is what's it? That's oh a, no! That, that's a yeah. H. See, yeah, that's just yeah. yeah like we could use that in this. We could put Hawi up here. I should have did that. You're okay, and that's your moon. Yeah. Hawi, but I'm not saying Hawi in this one. We've got the end click on top. On top of it, so I'm going hawi, hawi, and it's got that hawi. Mm -hmm. It's glutterized. Now we'll carry on. I hope that was a good explanation. Let's carry on to our J. And J as in jump, jam, just, j, just. 
J um p j j. A good one for that is juicy nan. I have a small cup. Juicy nan. See? J. Jump. Just. Juicy nan. Eopsija. Eopsija. You hear that? Eopsija. Again. J. And that's to, that's, that's to jump. Eopsija. Jump. Eopsija. Ah, another one. Je. Je. Jump. Je. See? Or sija to be bad. Nina sija. Sija. Sija to be bad. It's just standard like the English. It's, it's, it's articulated like the English J. Now. We have our K. Now, Nakoda, we have two Ks. Let's get through the first one here. K, K, K. It's equivalent to the, the English keep. K, K, keep, K, keep. Uh, Nakoda words with K sound, kua, kua. And that's the chase. Kua. Iaki. Ihaki. Iha. Ihaki. Ihaki. That's to reach somewhere. And ekta. Ekta. At or to. Ekta. Ekta. You see, your K all sound the same. Kua. Ihaki. Ekta. Keep k, k. Now we have our other K. K with a with the end click beside it. And that again is not that's a sound that we don't have an English equivalent to. But I would say probably um You see, like, you hear that? So you hear that? And that means to kill something. It's a stop. Um, to give somebody. Hear that? And that is to, to give or to kill, another one, um, here's another one, woke oo, woke oo, woke oo, woke oo, and that is to feed someone, woke oo, you hear that, woke oo, see it's that stop, k, woke oo, k, oo, k, de. Hope that's good, we're gonna go on to the letter M, M is pretty basic, the English equivalent, mine or mice, m, mm, that M sound, mine, m, mm, mice, m, mm, m. Mm. The Nakoda would be, how about mahen, 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 which means inside mahen. Mahen, uh, tida mahen, um, tida mahen. Oh, um, let's see, just wait. Tida ima. See, I would say ima hen. Ma hen is, I, I'm going to change it. Let's do mina. Mina. See? Mina. That's a knife. Mina. Mina wajim no ha. Lots of N's in that, M's in that word. Mina wajim no ha. I have a knife. Um... Mima. 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 There's two M's in there. Mima. And that is to be round. We, oui, je, mima. The moon is round. Mima. 
Now let's go on moving on right into the letter, our letter N. N's are pretty basic, as in night, now. Pretty basic. Mm, mm. Nen, as in here, nen, nen, night, now, nen, two of them. Nakoda, nakoda, see? Nakoda. And one more. Um, Nambe. Nambe machuida. My hands are cold. Nambe. And now we're going to do our peas. Peas are pretty, pretty sound pretty much like the English, as in Peter and pull. P -p -p Peter, pull. They can be found in words uh, as in paha. Paha haskam no ha. I have long hair. Paha. See? Pa, paha. Uh, Woshpi. 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 And that's to pick. Woshpi. See? Woshpi. Pretty, pr pretty. Uh. Mm hmm. Wachpe. Same. Wachpe, T, Wachpe, P, P. Now we're going to carry on to our S's. Our S's, we have two S's in Nakoda. Our first S is pretty basic, like sit, sum. Equivalent to sit and sum, S, S. Um, how about siha? Siha, which is your feet. Siha tang no ha. I have big feet. Um, saba. We are saba. No, I shouldn't say that. That lady is black. Buza je saba. Isto je saba. Sab. And I, I always say the A because, um, but, uh, uh, um, fluent speaker would only say sub. You can still hear the A, but they won't say saba. They'll say sub. And you can hear it sub. <laughs> uh, what else can I? Oh, here's a good one sakna. Sakna. That's a good one, and that is a Metis person. Okay, we're going to move on to our S with our N click on top. Now, this S is um, equivalent to the word as in shadow, shadow or show. It'll make these words here. See that? This sh, sh. Oh, I'm long. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. No, that's right. Oh, that's right yeah. yeah. Shunga. 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 Notice your, remember your, your, shunga, your N is nasalized, ung, which giving it that ung, shunga, which is dog, shunga odam nuha, I have lots of dogs, shina would be another one, shina, and that is a blanket, shina chozam nuha, I have a warm blanket, um, yushta, Yushta would be another one. Oh no, you know what? I'm not going to do sh I'm going to do shunkshaba. It's got two S's in there. That's why I'm going to do it. And then we'll show you. And that is a black horse. My first S has got my end click on top of it. Shunk saba. That's my horse, a black horse, my black horse. Shunksaba Oda. Oda Mnuha. I don't even own any horses, but I'm telling you, I have lots of black horses. Now we have our, we're going to get to our T. This T is pretty basic, as in Taim. Taim or Taok. Ak or team. T. 
and yours taba a ball taba taba wanji ushkada bi we are playing with a ball uh sten 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 see sten um hayakana sten hochnachya bi odam natgangt tomorrow i am going to drink lots of coffee when tomorrow when it's tomorrow i'll drink or witka there's a good one witka our our eye is nasalized which is making it turning it into the inked remember witka those are eggs a witka ja kenne stehen witka zapta um ba a um birakt i'm going to boil six eggs in the morning Okay, now we have another T, like the K with a stop, and that, that's a stop. And that is with your end clip behind it like this. And that is, we don't have, um, it's not found in English, but it is also a stop, like Ah, to be dead. Ah, and that's to be dead. Ah, to die. That's um, there's probably more. I didn't um, didn't find you any more examples. That's, that's the only example I got. Um, we've got a few more letters here. We've got W. W again is pretty basic as in water or wind same same sound it makes in english it does in nakoda um huh wa wea wea notice your nasalized n wea that is a woman wa that is snow wa hi ha it is snowing um oh how about tawinju tawinju and that is your father's sister that was your aunt no how how did i say that tawinju yeah tawinju that's your aunt tawinju your aunt that's it says that's your father's sister that's what uh, these are all nasalized to to winju but your w sounds the same we're going to carry on to your y and it's the same it's articulated the same as in english as in yes or you ya 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 uh yatka would be a good one to drink Hochnach yabi oda yatka. Yatka to drink. Um, ia. Ia to go. Ia. Hu hu jubina. Mi chung shi ia. My daughter went to Regina. Um, washpaya. There is a good one. Washpaya. Uh, tano oda washpaya. I cooked lots of meat. Washpaya. And now we're down to our last two letters. We have Z. Z as in zebra. Zebra. Z makes the same sound in Nakoda as it does in ze as in zebra, as in zizibena. Zizibena. That is. Zibena to upewa to I blot blue material. Uh, wazia, 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 wazia. Uh, Chowinka sha. Oh, Santa Claus wears a red jacket. K 
Okay, waziyam. I said waziyam. Okay, and then how about zapta? Zapta. Zapta. Five. Uh, chandes. Chandes kuya zapta. No ha. I have five sweethearts. <laughs> <laughs> now we are going to go with this Z with the end clip on top end click on top and we don't have um, the equivalent to this is 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 the equivalent in measure jure it's this sound that we're looking for with this Z measure or it's a Z sound. Z. Z. Measure. See? Z. Z. And perfect examples of this would be Zen. 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 Hamba. Waji. Uh, I bought uh, a shoe. I bought my shoes there. Jen, there. Uh, je cha, je cha, je cha. Je cha means um, it is to be that way. Like you know, it is that way, huh? Je cha. I remember my dad used to say je che du, which is, means it is that way. Je cha, it's that way. Um, or no, that's that C H. Yeah. Z? Z or Z Z. Uh, or Magaju. Magaju. That's a good one again because it's got that J. Magaju. And that is to rain. Ambanen Nina Magaju. It rained very hard today. There's are your 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 um, consonants for your Nakoda. Now, if you'll notice in Nakoda, we did not have an F, we did not have an R, we did not have an L, and we did not have a V. And um, there's another sound we don't make the yeah the X sound the X either. Um, the the the, the diacritics these things are called are very very important when you're writing or reading a coda because those help you articulate the words properly. So if you want to be um, to read your nakoda, study and um, say the, the the letters of the alphabet often, and that will help you. There are. Um, Because all these, like all the little end clicks they're called, they, they give the letters a different sound. Now, um, with that said, um, there's also a few more things that I, I need to tell you about Nakoda. Um, when you are learning your Nakoda, you need to actually know what your nouns are, your verbs are. Nakoda has stratus verbs, they don't have adjectives. And basically your stratus verbs are the to be verbs. Um, we have demonstratives, ne, je, this, this. We also have a lot of the end clicks that go at the back and those end clicks are part of the Part of the end clicks are the the kta, and that is um, potential means that it's going to happen. We also have the um, ga si, which makes it she. I guess it was, and it negata it negatives it makes it not happen. Um, Wachinga, wachingesh. Wachinga, I want. Wachingeshi, I don't want. Um, 
We also have the, that's the negative, the she, sorry, ah, uh, na. You'll notice when we have these, that these are all um, little end clicks that are going to go at the end of your verb, at the end of your sentence. Na, which is making it small, uh, making it smaller, juicy nan, juicy nana, to be small. Um, and then we have the, no, whoa, hey, the question mark, the question mark, the command, whoa, no, and those all go, doka, uh, je, io danga, whoa, and I'm commanding you, that's a command, go sit down, and those are all, these are all little words that end, that go at the end of your sentence, and they're called like end clicks. You need to know your prepositions. You specify the relationship between two words. Um, also, uh, one of the another thing that I had um, when I first started learning Nakoda, the two B verbs, the stratus verbs. Je woda, Yuhana woda. When I say that, I'm saying they're all eating the woda means, um, depending on the context of which you use your woda, you can, um, they, they don't need, like in English, they, you don't need to add the ing to it. Like if I'm eating, I'm going to say I'm eating. But if I am eating, if, or if they are eating, I'm going to say they are eating. But if I'm going to say it, Nakoda, je woda, je yuhan woda, they are all eating, you know. I just say woda, I don't have to add anything to the woda, and there are a lot of verbs, especially the two v verbs, the stratus verbs, that don't need any ending. And as you um, go through your dictionary and you learn your, um, your alphabet, these things will fall in, they should fall into place, but with the lessons that are going on, we'll explain more again. We'll explain more about the, about, um, those little rules, you know, the, the rule of thumb, the second um, vowel is always accented because, like I said, the n-clicks, they matter. Um, it would be like, je cha, je cha. There's also exceptions about the second um, syllable being accented. Some of them only have one syllable, so you'd only accent the first syllable. There's certain um, little rules about that. Um, I hope I've explained the alphabet, <laughs> the alphabet to you, and I hope that um, my articulation of the alphabet um, helps you. If you go at the end of the um, video here, the they will be up there. Um, they will be yeah, they will be posted online. Make sure you check out our Fort Cap uh, the Tribal Council apps and uh, also the uh, Nakoda apps that will all, you will help help with your articulation on the Fort Capel Tribal Council Nakoda app as well. They have very very good articulation on there. A couple of mistakes, but we're, gonna, we're they're actually working on on fixing those. So um, I guess that is all for today. Oh, oh, as Chandeskuya in Butago. Me no go ya be Namakota Jemacha Nakonia Tehina Namakota Jemacha Namakota Jemacha Mi dago ya be